you know, I'd really love to think that leave this thing on, but with the strap, it's like essentially impossible. So, yeah. <laughs>
Well, if I haven't done so already, I'd like to cordially welcome you to the first ever Tapers Ball. Uh, it's just been a true pleasure and privilege.
We appreciate you. came up with and convinced the rest of the band to go along with wearing the banana suits i feel like the banana suits was my idea yeah and uh i think the the three you would the one person who didn't dress up is the one person you'd expect not to although uh if we i think if we planned a little bit further in advance we would have gotten him like a yellow leather jacket i was really looking for a yellow leather jacket and he would have done that right but i mean that came from a very real like we're like uh you know chris was like i mean it's it's obvious we do banana suits well i think especially because the set we're after like, a set let's two dress right up now, as right? something yeah so yeah so the set two is with the the velvet, the velvet underground, underground we opened and yeah. so it was like that's like the, the imagery of that was very funny of like 
Light Night, you know, you're playing it in the Banana Cut. There's something that was very. That's funny because Velvet, Velvet Underground, especially that song, the themes it addresses, kind of dark. But like, yeah. you know, you think of this more of a New York City, like, well, I, I did change the lyrics to Dave's All Dressed in Black. Well, here it comes. I don't know if you caught that, but, uh, you know, but that, that came out of like a real earnest, like, oh, we'll wear the banana suits and Dave, you know, like, because, you know, if you follow the Dave Harrington musical career up until this moment, Dave himself, very funny guy. You know, it's kind of like it was like, like, what was it like the straight man and all the comedy troops was always the funniest. You know, Dave, right. like looking genial, funny guy, but his professional persona has always been kind of like very serious. Um, okay. And, and so, like, but obviously he's down to be in this band, which is completely unserious. So I'll just, <laughs> you know, we're very serious about being unserious. Uh, but, like, there are certain things that the three of us will be game for. And this is why I think it's so funny that, that Zach is the one who technically does not have the jam background, because we're talking about Night 2 here now. He's like, play it, rip a guitar solo in a banana suit? Absolutely. And, like, and Dave... Earnestly was like, I think the banana costume is a bridge too far for me, guys. And we're like, well, that's great. Like, that's the Pretty gag. Much, yeah. Like, we do it and you don't. You know? <laughs> so the masses are wondering why the band chose Velvet Underground's debut instead of songs from White Light, White Heat. Um, How does this album tie yeah. into the... Band? Very deep and serious reasons that are too serious to even share. We, we can't yeah. even... Uh, no, I think um, <laughs> it wasn't an oversight... No, I think it was the just, album cover. Yeah. It was the album cover. But we could have done White Light, White Heat also. But the album cover with the bananas and the H bond, you know, that was the yeah. mo motif. Again, going back to the cover choice thing we were talking about earlier, I also think like, you know, we were going to do like a, a not, not more obscure, but like a, just a deeper cut on the album. But then I was like, eh, people know like Win for, win for the Man. Like, yeah, yeah. It's like a that was like, uh, yeah. That was sort of also the giving giving something for people to connect to straight away with all the other weird shit that was going on. Like, you know, right. Oh, I know the song at the very least. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What was your favorite moment from night two? Night two. I don't remember the song actually. You guys will have to tell me, but it was the song we closed with it. Was it, was it the toad jam? Donor? What we with first night one night, uh, set one night two. Above the Timberline. Above yeah, the it was the Timberline Jam. That's right. Okay. The yeah. Timberline Jam went full unexpected bliss type two. Um, and it felt real. And like, I, there was a real collective, like, we knew it. Everyone in the room knew it. We were all doing it together, you know? Right. And um, that that was probably my highlight, actually, of the entire ball, to be completely yeah. honest. Timberline. The legendary Tabers Ball Timberline. The, timber, the Tabers Ball Timberline, for me, that, that, that felt like a high note. People are talking about the Venus and Furs. Honestly, the Venus, I, like, I didn't even know it at the time. Like, the Venus and Furs for me was maybe a little bit of a struggle. I was trying to find my footing, but people have, cut, you know, that's what you never know. Like, the famous, you know, uh, uh, Jerry and Phil, we nearly came to blows. And then we listened back to the tape and we're like, oh, this is good. You know? <laughs> um, so, but for me in the moment, I, I felt the, the joy during the Timberline Jam for sure. Yeah. Okay. I, I, I'll, I'll sort of, Somewhat answer the question, but um, this is something that I was waiting until after night two, set two to share. But probably my favorite thing about the ball overall, and informed like a, a lot of the things we did, is that we didn't actually get to rehearse with Dave all week, which uh, Dave was busy with some family stuff that like that had come up, and it's fine. Like the, the other three rehearsed, we had some of the new stuff put down. But that's what what I remember about the ball is kind of like being everything being really like. Uh, you know, just kind of like feeling fresh, a little bit scary because like, oh, are we going to hit this or are we going to hit this? And then you like, and there's sort of the, that tension for me that then released when we were jamming and stuff of like having not played some of these tunes with Dave for a while and then sort of like doing it live in this really, this cool atmosphere that we'd set up. Um, that was, that's what I remember of the ball really is kind of like feeling like, like, you know, everything was on this, just on the, the seat of my, you know, just, just flying through and figuring out as we went along. That's what I remember, sort of I, everything of the moment. I will say, you know, like, because this is a little behind the scenes too, is especially if they're like songs that we've had around, it's hard to believe we've been like a band for more than a year now. 
<laughs> but uh, publicly, like in the, uh, um, you know, the like stuff we've played a bunch of times. Uh, when we're rehearsing, we'll often get to the jam and be like, "Don't jam, like save it. We don't want to find something special now in the room that, like, we want to be surprised. We want people to be in the room when we find the thing necessarily." Um, and so that was kind of like enforced <laughs> with Dave not being av available for practice that week. It's just like, it was like the thrill of like hearing the leads kick back in kind of like motivated everybody to be like, hell yeah, it sounds good. <laughs> you yeah. know, and that, eat off that. So awesome. How fun is it building a methodology or like a mythology? Just, I mean, it's fun. It's, and I, I mean, mean it's, I mean, we're in it from that level and have been since like before a note of music has been played, but it's been awesome. You know, I would say that like the TC family is small, but enthusiastic and growing. And it's been awesome to feel like people are like there, like the people who are there are there for it and are like are like tapped in and like in some cases beyond where we might even be, which rules, you know, yeah. <laughs> and we just we completely well like i i've heard tell of like a couple different bootlegs that might turn up at the shows you know oh, this nice. week and, and you know it's like we love that stuff so that it's so exciting please participate yeah <laughs> <laughs> better is better what to do yeah